Action sports films are a limited genre. Mostly they're about one athlete one-upping what was done in earlier films. Well, that's all changed now. The Crash Reel, a film by Lucy Walker for HBO Documentaries, is the in-depth story of snowboarder Kevin Pierce's rise, fall, and recovery from traumatic brain injury. This deeply felt, perceptively told story goes beyond the thrills and eye candy of most action sports films. With any luck, this example of top shelf filmmaking will give new life to the action sports genre. We spoke with Walker about the crash reel after a screening at HBO Studios in New York City. Well, let's talk about the film that we saw tonight, The Crash Reel. Mm. Um, it's been on the film festival circuit for how long? A few months? Or? We premiered at Sundance in January. Okay. How, did it, how did it do there? That's a snowboarding town. Oh, it was played <laughs> magnificently. We were opening night film, and that was wonderful. Oh. And um, then we've played lots of festivals. We won the Audience Award at South by Southwest, which was a big high. And, oh, gosh, we've had many wonderful screenings and won some lovely trophies. So I feel like it's been nice to give some trophies to Kevin because he used to win a lot of snowboarding trophies so now we've been getting him some film trophies. I told him he should be a movie star. Isn't, isn't he a movie star? Yeah. Yes, he's fantastic on, on camera so you're lucky to have such a wonderful subject. Yeah. But uh, you know you've kind of broken a taboo. You've kind of blazed ground because in the snowboard world of which I'm a part uh, we don't talk about snowboarders' injuries. It's hush hush. It's taboo. Uh, did you find that out as you started to make this film or did that, did that information ever cross your path? I was shocked um, looking at all these crash reels, what they call crash reels. You know, every filmer and every athlete seems has a, has a crash reel of their gnarliest uh, crashes. And it looks very glamorous and you sort of rub a neck sort of tendency, of course, is fully satisfied because these things are horrible to watch but very compelling. But they don't show you what uh, really happens when you have a crash. And so Kevin wanted to for people to be aware of what he'd really gone through. And I realize that nobody's made a proper film. There's been a few, like, nice pieces that people have made for people in hospital and stuff to raise money, because sadly that's a big deal. But nobody's made, like, a grown-up movie about this. There's so many tricks movies that are so glamorous, or the crash reels, but there's nothing that's really, like, a proper film that really gets in there and talks honestly about what's going on. And so that's what we wanted to do, was show that story. And I must say, I was shocked when I learned that in many um, extreme sports athletes' contracts, the clause is that if they get injured, they're not supposed to talk about it. I think that's horrifying. Yes, the sponsors uh, insist on that, I guess. Now, uh, what about the portrayal of Sean White? I mean, everything that was said was true, but it's a, it's a side of Sean White that we haven't seen. Uh, that's breaking ground, too. What about that? Uh, gosh, I mean, like the world saw him get arrested last year and he went on talk shows talking about what happened there. So I don't feel like the world doesn't know about what Sean gets up to sometimes. It was just a fire extinguisher, but, you know, putting Kevin's um, personal items out on the front porch with the 30,000 yen. I mean, that's that's really that was a little bit nasty. I think Sean's great and comes across great. And I think kids are kids. And I think they were arch rivals. And that was stoking their extreme you know, uh, uh, rivalry was was a thrilling, you know, it was a, a time of s s extreme uh, inventiveness in the sport, you know, the, the bringing in, Sean brings in the foam pit, then Kevin brings in the airbag, <laughs> and they're trying to get these new class of tricks, the double corks, and they're young guys, you know, and Sean's on top. Of course, everyone else is going to be um, aware of how good he is. You know, he's the, he's the, um, Lonely at the top guy, you know, he's the Michael Phelps, he's the Tiger Woods. Um, he's, he's the 100 uh, point uh, half pipe run, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, the, he's the man, you know, and Kevin, you, you could say, really um, almost died trying to catch him and almost did. And, and he, he did beat him a few weeks before, and Danny Davis had beat him also a few weeks before. Yeah, he's not invinci invincible, <laughs> and that's what's almost so tantalizing, you know, that they, they were. They, they were. It was right there. We never thought uh, this movie would be uh, would have a hero and uh, you know an adversarial situation competition. So that was a very nice part that you brought into the movie. Well, I think unearthing what had actually happened in the build up to the crash, you realize that those guys extreme uh, feelings of rivalry and and um, uh, was a big part of Kevin's motivation in the build-up to the Olympics and was a big part of the story. And you see Kevin push himself and crash and put him, push himself and crash. And you have to be thinking, like, what would make him do that? And the answer is he really wanted to beat Sean. That, that certainly did make the story. Yeah. 
Well, what else would you like to tell us? I don't know, I guess. But thank you. Please spread the word. Please visit our website, www.thecrashreel.com. Tell us about your infographic. Yes, we're sharing an infographic, um, uh, which is what to do when you hit your head, because we've observed that so many, even of the pro athletes, don't know what to do. They think you you're supposed head. to drink beer after you hit your head, but that's not what you're supposed to do. I know. Or maybe <laughs> go to bed, which is even worse, because then the brain can get into worse shape and you need to get to see a doctor right away. And our infographic tells you what sim symptoms tell you that you need to go to the doctor. And the infographic has already saved a life, you said? Yeah, our um, uh, Love Your Brain campaign has already saved one uh, guy, amazingly. And we really, we really want to see if we can't, um, uh, you know, get more help to people. We want to get the film to veterans with traumatic brain injuries. 400,000 veterans have TBIs coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. We want to get it to other athletes and other folks who aren't athletes, in, especially young people with brain injuries. We want to get um, word out to the extreme sports community to make sure they have adequate insurance. We were shocked that they don't typically. Um, we want to get more young people wearing helmets in mountain sports. 18 to 25 year olds typically under 50% of them wear helmets and yet they're the people that should be wearing the helmets. Um, so there's lots of things we're doing and that's under our hashtag love your brain campaign and so we're really encouraging people to check that out and be in touch and and see if we can't spread the world and and make these beautiful sports you know as safe as possible for those uh, amazing young athletes that are pursuing them we made a playlist with our interview of kevin pierce and some video from the crash reel there's some stuff from the u.s open that you should see featuring kevin pierce and sean white going head to head lawrence channel is snowboard secrets and help us stay in touch with you by subscribing to our channel. We love your comments to our videos. We appreciate the attention.